What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're looking at how to subtract a one digit number away from a three digit number that does not involve borrowing. Let's begin. Okay guys, so today we're going to be looking at subtraction. So let's look at our two steps we're going to use. First, we're going to remember to use column labels. This is really important to help us not put things in the wrong place. And then secondly, we're going to start from the smallest value. And we're going to see what that means properly in a moment. So what method are we going to use? Well, we're going to use what's called the column method. And this might be the first time you've seen the column method. And the column method means that we're going to put our numbers in columns. So before we start, let's label our numbers so we understand what place value they have. So that makes it easier to put them in the columns. So let's first of all look at 457. Well, 457 is made up of seven ones. So we can put this little O above the seven, five tens, and four hundreds. Hopefully you've seen a number shown like that before with our ones, tens, and hundreds over the top. And then looking at our second number, our one digit number, our five is obviously in our ones column. So let's look back at our step one. Step one said use column labels. So before I put my numbers in the columns, I'm going to put my column labels, ones, tens, and hundreds. And now that should make it a lot easier to make sure I put the numbers in the correct place. So I have 457, which we said had seven ones. So I'll put my seven in the ones column, five tens, and four hundreds. And then my second number, the five, only has a five in the ones column and nothing in the tens or the hundreds. So I could actually put my zero here to show that there's nothing and I'm putting it in this sort of dotted line because we're going to call that a placeholder. It's not actually in our question but it's a zero that should be there. But hold up a second because this is where some people could have made a big mistake. I'm going to put my ones, tens and hundreds over here to show you what some people might do. They're going to put their seven in the ones column, they're five in the tens and they're four in the hundreds. But then when it comes to put this little five in the right place, they're going to think, oh, well, I'm used to seeing things from left to right. I'm going to put it over here. Uh oh, what happens when we put our placeholder? That's right. We've turned that five into a 500 because we put it in the hundreds column. So we know that is incorrect. But a lot of people make that mistake because they don't put these titles above their columns. So now we're ready to begin and we can put our equals line and our subtraction sign so that we remember we're doing subtraction. Now we can look at step two which said start with our smallest value and our smallest value is our ones. Ones are smaller than tens and are smaller than hundreds. So looking at my ones column I have seven subtract five. So if I have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's say I've got my seven counters and I subtract five, one, two, three, four, five. How many does that leave me? Well, I have one, two. So my answer is two. And then my second question would be now here in the tens column, and I have five, subtract zero, and five, subtract zero is still five. And my last question in the hundreds column says four, subtract zero. And my answer would therefore be four. So my answer to 457 subtract 5 equals 452. Awesome. Okay, I just want to show you something really important at this point. So let's look at our first question here, which we agreed was 7 subtract 5, and we thought it equaled 2. Now, why did we start with the 7 and put the 5 second? Well, that's because the 7 is the number on top, so therefore we're taking 5 away from 7. So our question must be 7 subtract 5 because if we flipped it around and did 5 subtract 7, well that gives us a totally different number to 2. It actually gives us negative 2. Yuck. So remember, the number on the top of our columns is the number we put first and the number on the bottom of our columns is the number we're taking away, so we put it second. Okay, question two, 469 subtract six. And I'm gonna do this a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna put my ones, tens, and hundreds. Put my number in place. I have nine ones, six tens, and four hundreds in the first number, and then a six ones in the second number. 
put my equals line, my subtraction sign, and I'm ready to begin. Six, subtract nine. I'm not going to draw my counters this time. I'm going to do it on my fingers, put nine fingers up, and take six down. Leaves me with three fingers up. And now I have this six, subtract what? Well, that's right. I forgot to put my placeholders in place. But let's put our little zeros here to show that there should be zeros there. So now I can do six, subtract zero is six. Four, subtract zero is four. Leaving me an answer of 463. Awesome. Your turn. Have a go answering these two questions. Get a piece of paper and a pencil. Practice a little bit and check your answers by putting them in the comment section and I'll give them a mark. Press pause on the video now. Good luck. And there you have it. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, share it with a friend, someone else you think would benefit from a video like this. But for now guys, thank you very much for watching. See you in another video. Peace out.